Hi everyone, this is part 47 of ASP.NET. In this video, we will discuss about session state mode is equal to SQL Server. So in the last videos, we have discussed about different types of session state modes like in proc mode and off mode. In this video, we will discuss about session state mode is equal to SQL Server. In this mode, the session information will store in SQL Server database. Session information like session ID, session creation time, expiry time, timeout, all the information will be stored. So what are the advantages of SQL Server modes means it supports web form and web garden scenarios. It supports web form and web garden scenarios. So here let us see what is this web form means. Web form means web application deployed on multiple web servers is called as web form. Generally whenever we develop any web application we have to deploy that web application web server so that end user will access the application via browser and internet. But the capacity of the server is also very less. Only limited users can, uh, server can also handle only limited number of requests. For example, if the server can handle only 1000 requests at a time, but the number of requests are more going to the server. So then the button on the server will be increased. Performance will be decreased. Heavy traffic websites will be there like IRCTC, Amazon, Flipkart, and uh, if the total application is kept in one server, unnecessarily button on what server? Performance issues will be there. So what we have to do means, web form means, it is a mechanism of deploying the web application on multiple web servers. Deploying the web application on multiple web servers. That concept is called as web form. Same web application keeping on multiple web servers. Here you see, we developed one web application keeping on one server one, server two, like multiple servers. Now browser will send the request to the server. So in order to maintain these servers, you have in middle load balancer will be there. Load balancer will check that which server is busy and which server is free. It will act like mediator between browser and the server. So whenever client sends the request, this load balancer will check that which server is free. If server one is free, request was sent to server one. And here response will be given. And again, when user clicks, now session is created on server one. Here session is created on server one. Now again, when user clicks on button, again request is going to the server. Now uh, load balancer will identify that server one is busy. It will forward the request to server two. As session is created on server one, now your uh, it is searching your session value at server two. So you'll get what error. Are you following? See if session is created in one server. And second time when the same user is sending the request or any interacting with any controls. Now load balancer identified that server one is busy. So it will forward the request to server two. But session is not available in server two. So you will get error. This is generally web form scenario. Deploying web application on multiple web servers. That concept is called as web form. But in proc mode does not support web form and web garden scenarios. But SQL server mode will support. If your web application is deployed on multiple web servers also, session values can be identified. That is in web form scenarios. Similarly, web garden means what? It is also similar. Deploying web application on single server, but within multiple worker process. Worker process is a separate memory that was allocated on server. Is it clear? One, one server will act like multiple servers. Every web application, if you keep on multiple worker process, now one worker process will work like one server actually. So here also web application deployed on multiple worker process within the same web server. That is web garden scenario. So SQL server mode supports both the scenarios. In proc mode will not support web farm and web garden scenarios. That is the point I am telling here. SQL server mode means session information stored in SQL server database like session creation time, expiry time, time mode, etc. Advantages of SQL Server mode, it supports web form and web garden scenario. Scalability is good, reliability is good, security is good because the session information is stored in database. Disadvantages, uh, performance is poor when compared with in proc mode because it is located in remote server now, accessing the data will take more time. In SQL Server mode, if we store session information in SQL Server database, then we need to purchase the license of SQL Server software. It is not free. We need to serialize and deserialize when we store objects in what session? In which mode? SQL Server mode. Are you following everyone? 
So now, in order to work with SQL Server mode, Microsoft has given some ready-made tables. Is it clear? Because all the session information is stored in these particular tables. Microsoft has given some ready-made tables. In order to work with SQL Server mode, Microsoft has given some predefined tables under ASP State Database. In order to generate the tables, Microsoft has given one tool. Now our main requirement is whenever a session is created, I want to store the data in the database table. We need to create the what? Uh, database to store the table data. Okay, now, but here the problem is uh, Microsoft is telling developer you don't create any table. I will give you one tool. You just use that tool and automatically generate the session related tables. So here you can go to your command prompt. And there you can see developer command prompt for VS 2017. Open your Visual Studio command prompt or here you can see developer command prompt for VS 2015. Here I will try to Microsoft has given some tool to generate the session related tables. For that you have to write some command ASP.NET underscore REG SQL forward slash question mark. You can see the properties that are helpful. In order to generate the session state tables, here Microsoft has given some connection string hyphen capital S. Capital S represents server name. Hyphen capital U. Capital U represents username. Hyphen capital P. Capital P represents password. Hyphen capital E represents connecting to SQL server using Windows authentication. Is it clear? Similarly, coming down here. You have a lot of properties are there, something like this. Is it clear? Hyphen SS add, adding the support to SQL Server mode. Hyphen SS remove, remove the support from SQL Server. Hyphen SS type. These all are used to generate the session state tables in your SQL Server database. Hyphen SS type. Here you see small t. Small t represents temporary. Small p represents persistent. Small c represents custom. When a SS type is a small t, then session related tables are stored in on database that is tempdb and the stored procedures related to the session state uh, sessions are stored in another database ASP state. If SS type is small p persisted, both session related tables and stored procedures are stored in separate database ASP state database. If session type is small c custom, so the session info related tables are stored in custom database. The database we can create manual. See, let us see here. I will try to write one command ASP.NET underscore REG SQL. Go to your first of all, open your SQL server, and there you can see whether is there any database with name ASP state or not. Yes, not there. So now I will create one database. How? By writing the command ASP.NET REG SQL space hyphen capital S server name dot hyphen capital U username SA hyphen capital P password ABC hyphen SS add space hyphen SS type space small p persisted. So I am telling that please generate the session related tables. Start adding the session state. This is the command you have to write finish it. So go to your database right click refresh. Then automatically one database is created with name ASP state. You open that one, open the tables. There you can see one table is created ASP state temp sessions. Here one table is created. Here you can see session ID, creation time, expiry time. All the information is stored. Now here what to do? I'll try to create one store the value. And here I'll try to read the value from the session. Store the value and read the value. Now here I'll try to go to web.config file. Here after system dot web here I'll try to write something like or within the system dot web here you can write something like session state mode is equal to SQL server and here I'll try to give hello custom SQL database is equal to true is it clear and here you can use one more property SQL connection string is equal to now I have to give the connection string to the database which database user ID is equal to SA Similarly, password is equal to ABC. Similarly, database. Database is equal to ASP state. Similarly, data space source is equal to dot. Is it clear? 
this is your database name and here i given the connection string why i given the connection string because whenever a session is created then automatically that session information was stored in this database that is the meaning of that actual so here go to your page one dot aspx or page dot aspx press f5 whenever a session is created in your application that session information is stored in database server see store the value now value is stored in the session read the value now go and check in your database refresh your table you can see this is the session id this is session creation time session expiry time okay now uh, time out 20 minutes maximum time out is 20 minutes after 20 minutes session will what expire this is how you can work with sql server mode okay now so here we'll discuss about session state mode is equal to state server when session state mode is equal to state server then session information is stored in remote server is it clear session information is stored in remote server i can't show you that one generally when to go for session state mode is equal to state server means if your session information is stored in local server means go for in clock mode remote server means go for state server similarly another one is session state mode is equal to custom if you want to store the session information uh, in uh, any custom databases not in sql server apart from sql server some oracle like that we will use session state mode is equal to custom like this we can work with different types of session state modes like in proc mode off mode sql server mode state server mode and custom mode for more videos try to subscribe to my channel share like and click on bell icon in the next video we will discuss about other techniques thank you have a nice